Hello everyone and welcome back to Gate Tale. Okay. So we had an invitation to a secret place. Forest Edge. Is this a new area? Because I feel like we have been to that house before. Have we? Are these enemies new? Cree Crow. Oh, our MP is bad right now. Um just walk around until <laughs> until it restores a little bit. We need to fight stuff right now. Ira, listen to me. You have no idea how hard it is for me to say this, but she isn't looking for you. I promise. I am so sorry, Ira. Nobody is getting the code. Nobody's surviving all of Gate Tail to have a chance. Nobody's almost here. I'm sorry I had to say it like this, but you just don't get it. The fortress protecting the code impenetrable. The creatures patrolling its ground unrelenting, and the humans who live there unstoppable. But Ira, this is not why um why your hopes will uh, will will die as mine as mine have all those years ago. If by any slim chance they exist, if by any slim chance they heard you, and if by any slim chance they preserve um, through, through the shock storm, if they come here, Ira, do you still wish to know my name? Looks like I was right. You were, uh, you were better off. Excuse my sudden appearance, by the way. I was planning to do it earlier when, um, it was likely more expected. But then I may have wanted to get you back. It's been some time since we last talked. Like, way past some time, in fact. All I can reasonably infer now, um, now is when you've likely began to question why that is the case. This may sound rash, uh, rather harsh, especially pertaining to you. But I love seeing you succeed. You faced nearly all odds, preserved through almost every challenge, discarded mostly every threat. And through it all, you're here. I've been here for a long time. They all have. And you simply have no idea how much, um, how much, uh, here changes us. How much it will change you. But no matter how much you change, how much you've already, take it from who knows it most. Always remember how grateful being here is. Your, uh, your final... Your final is growing ever closer. The Savannah's Fortress is, uh, of Freedom is calling your name. And everything you've worked for, everything you've fought for, will be all worth it in the end. Make your next choice very carefully. Soon you'll reach what you seek. Why you're here. Why you'll be. It will all be worth it in the end. But for now, welcome to Serengeti. Your final test. It was nice knowing you, human. Make me proud, will you? Okay. Are we coming up on the end here? Zebras! I love zebras. Whoa. Runt snap. Oh, okay.
Fortress of Instant Death? Huh, all right. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Cordarium, a welcome pamphlet found. Welcome to the gate uh, to the gate opening freedom fortress that is Cordarium. The final test before we leave this wretched world of Gate Tail forever. You have received this pamphlet due to your inclusion in our Cor uh, Cordarium Cordarium Challenge Program, also known as a tour. And since it's your last place to explore, you should be beyond, be beyond thankful you are. Just follow the path and you'll be there in no time. But until then, try to die, alright? The Karadium Freedom at last. I always like this enemy sprite. Chunky meat? Huh. Okay. What are you? Regenerate. Oh, okay. That's a very expensive spell, though. That doesn't really feel worth it. Gimmick here.
Wanting to visit our key opening the gate, um, our key to opening the gate, but don't know where we are. Just ride this thunder loon to fly all the way to the fortress with no knowledge needed. The Coradium, uh, the Cordarium freedom at last. Uh, hi? Okay, I- <laughs> Please keep all appendages within the Thunderloon at all times in fear of permanent corruption. We hope you enjoy the Thunderloon experience. The, um, the, the uh, Cordarium free at last. There was once a time long before our own, where there was no urge to leave the place we all called our home. There was not a single recollection of our past domain in any of our memories, and with no way to venture back, it makes sense why we, for the for most of our history, were content with our new br uh, being. However, we were deeply misguided. She said it best. Nothing is a reward in, the, in, in this past. But by far the most prevalent reason as to why all humans within the land of Gatehill did not desire to leave whatsoever is more simplistic than even those aforementioned reasons. We didn't know why. And that is when the story of the Code truly began. The War of Gaining brought the sudden sunset of our previous ways. And sent it into the obscurity of night. And only then did the glistening stars shine in their glory, displaying the constellations of our only true way we were lured to from the very beginning of it all. The land cannot be saved. And there is no other choice but to leave. And now, after all this time, we can. The code is like a forest with the numerous varied yet foundationally alike de designs meshing together to create something more than the sum of their parts. The code is like a desert, vast and empty to those without the eye of disco uh, to discover what lies within the mirage. I am the eye that sees through the sand. There is a beauty to the code alike to the shining, ever-rushing waves of the ocean, all crashing with chaotic motions, yet all bounded by the simple rules of energy and of reality. It's all connected. Through the code. Our goal in the Cor uh, Cordarium, uh, the holding place of where I found the code all those years ago after the War of Gaining, is simple. I'm going to set us free. No matter the cost. Welcome to Cordarium. The final test at last. What? Maybe don't step on the yellow? Um... Hmm. 
Oh, just had to wait. <laughs> I was gonna go to the dev real quick to ask, like, is there something you should, or the devs for an ask if there's something you should do here, but okay. Why aren't you going? You die. Well, that's because you've, uh, you've been marked, silly. Jacob doesn't know that, uh, that the folks he sees as a threat, um, to the Cordarium. Not sure why you're, uh, you'd think he'd do that to you since he's recently been so adamant about your arrival. You see, what mar uh, what marking does is extremely simple. If you are marked and you come within a certain radius of the Cordarium, you die. Very successful, I do say. Wait, so in universe they're aware of death and like reloading? Wait. He must have uh, have 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 liked you much to do that. But fret not. As while I, I don't have electric powers, I can certainly be useful. Electronic explosions will not be your fate just yet, because I'm going to help you with your dying problem. Observe. You were unmarked. I kind of like that section, honestly. That's funny. Questionable security for the win. You're welcome. I am 97% sure you're, you'll pass through completely safe. Great odds, I'd say. What you should be worried about has nothing to do with what's before the big electric power gate. Did you seriously think you'd, uh, your tour would be sunshine and volcanic eruptions? Fun fact, no. And that's when your final test really begins. Oh, you don't know my name, do you? Anthony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was half expecting to still die. Why do you believe someone cares about you, Ira? Why do you still hold hope your savior will emerge to rescue you? Why haven't you given up already? There's no reason to make the realization worse. What? If... Oh, okay. Huh. Do I want to touch these? No, I don't. They do a lot of damage to you. Welcome to the second challenge of the Cor a Cordarium has to offer. And let me just say, you deserve what this one has in store. Don't believe me?
It knows what you did. And now, after all this time, it has a change for a chance for vengeance. What a fun time to be sure you don't get shocked by the sheer power of vengeance. Collect all the blue electrolytes to depower your crystalline challen challenger. When things get rough, make sure to use the uh, Cordarium's 100% safe red healing orbs to better yourself for the next round. Besides, uh, besides those, avoid the rest. Trust me, you won't need a second reminder if you get hit. Have fun. Whatever, uh, even so, remember this one vital truth about all the rest. Free at last. Oh my god! So I should power it down? Where is it? Ah. Oh, good lord. I didn't get it. Uh... Now I need to touch you when you're red. Ugh. I want to read this again, and maybe there's something I'm missing here. Um... No, I'm doing it correctly. He's not saying that I need to hit, um... Oh my god. He's not saying that I need to hit the red- or the crystal when it's red after I've collected all these, though. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong.
No, I think I do need to hit you. Oops. Man, those do not heal a lot. I think I collected it. Ah. Uh, let's wait for you to turn red. Oh my god! I think I accidentally listened to the explanation. <laughs> Wait, if you hit cancel, you have to hear the whole explanation anyway? Wait, why? Oh my god, I have to pick these up.
Wait, did I not hit it? Oh my god. Oh, you don't stay red for long now. I don't know if that counted. I don't think that counted. We take those. There we go. Okay, I have a theory. Um, what that uh, what Anthony was saying about vengeance is making me think that um, maybe that becomes harder the more people you kill. Like the fact that it knows what you did allegedly. And I think I did kill three people, and there were three rounds of that, so that would add up. What is that? A what? Okay, I think that'll be enough for this episode. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.